Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Red Raptor Writes in our Bioshock Wrench only playthrough. In the last episode, we got so much done. We finished Fort Frolic. Man, that was crazy. Killed Silas Cobb. Uh, killed Hector Rodriguez. Didn't fight Sander Cohen, that's for darn sure. Because only an idiot would do that in this situation. Uh, now we are on Hephaestus. And... Good lord, I do not know if this is even possible. <laughs> it, okay, it's possible, but it's going to be very difficult. No buts about it. This will probably be the most difficult level we have. Maybe, probably. Okay, even aside from the whole Big Daddy situation, there are just lots of parts where the splicers can get overwhelming. The beginning, going to be super difficult. Uh, the ending... Gotta be super difficult. Some parts in between, gotta be super difficult. Watch yourself. Ryan Sturren. We best keep to our men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to either run the table or go home empty. Ryan's got the genetic key to rapture. We get that from him and we get out of this hell hole. We don't, then you and I are ghosts. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office? He said the thing. He said the thing. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is where the game really ramps up with the story. I see Cohen's lost his touch. If you knew him when. When he used to believe in work. In the struggle. And now, he rots in that neverland. Waiting for someone to come and tell him he still got it. I suppose... Oh goodness, where is he? Walk this way, please, walk this way. Ugh. Ugh. And so the level starts. <laughs> Already. Wonderful. Great, I don't know where this guy is. I hear him walking around, but... <laughs> This guy's disgusting. Okay, um, in Hephaestus, all the splicers get an upgrade. Ah, the Houdini splices upgrade next level, really. Oh, that's what's happening to you. You're stuck. <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh my eyes. <laughs> no, Steph, brother, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, so... The spider splices don't upgrade, but the thuggish splicers, they're electrified now, so they're immune to electricity. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's almost dead. No, no, don't go, go, don't go that way. Oh gosh. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Alright, All right, come on, bring it, bring it, bring it. Alright, my damage output's not bad. Come on. No, this way. This way. That kind of renders that static discharge um, not as useful. Come on. Where are you going? <laughs> no, I'm not going to go that way preemptively. Prematurely. Prematurely. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. They do take a couple hits. A lot tougher than in Fort Frolic. Fort Frolic they took like three hits. No, nah, no, nah, they're a lot stronger. Yeah, this is where this is where things get intense. The leadhead splicers got a lot more health. They get machine guns. Oof. It's bad. It's bad. Um. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and we're gonna have to deal with a lot of groups of them. Okay. Okay. You can taste it, can't you? Andrew Ryan. Oh. Armin Shimmerman's voice acting is just so good. Um, the weird thing about this playthrough, it's like the things I expect to be tough, like the things I prepare for, typically go well for me. All right, as long as I'm prepared, it's fine. It's the things that. It's the things that are in between <laughs> that I don't prepare for 
really well. That get me. Oh my gosh, look at that health bar. No, I'll survive they just get so much health. Okay. Oh. But on the other hand, that does mean a lot more health for me since I have bloodlust. Do I have still have it in? I think I still have it in. It's been a couple days since I played last. Ooh, turret. Ooh, that's not fun. Oh gosh. Yeah, there's nothing I could do to it. I guess I could just kill it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, that's still very effective. Three hits on the turret. Excellent. Alright, if I go up here, I know a splicer will spawn through that door. It's fine. Pretty sure there's an audio diary here. No, I guess it's back down here. Okay, Mr. Spider Splicer, where you at? Ooh, 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 that was good. That was good. But, yeah, so as long as I'm prepared and I know what I'm getting myself into, this should be okay. Oh, there's the audio diary. Yeah, this is a good McDonald one. Does this one play automatically? I thought that this one played automatically, but oh well, that's just Keebers talking. The electrician who won't meet soon. Alright, we are going to skip this because, well, A, I don't want a grenade launcher, alright? I'm finding only wrench. Um, and B, what, three spider splicers come down on you? Oh, it's like two spider splices and a Houdini? Something like that. Something like that. Um, yeah, I don't want to be fighting that. So, yeah, we're we not doing that. Not today. You can you can get research. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold up. And $25. Fine. Oof. Uh, Fort Frolic went much better and worse at the same time than I expected. Like, I want to be able to... Uh, to hack turrets, that doesn't seem like it's happening. Maybe with Frozen Field 2 we'll have a better shot. I mean, statistically speaking, we would have a better shot. Do I really need one of these? I mean, I guess... Uh, maybe Booze Hound will come in handy at some point? I don't know. What do we need? We need more batteries, more tubing. Alright, alright. This health station, that is a 100%. We need to hack this. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Give me the right one. Give me the right... Oh, there we go. There we go. It's possible. It's possible. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just need either three more of those. Got it. We got it. Oh, it's possible. Whew. Right, that was an intense one. That was close. Big oof. This part will not be easy. This is the part that I'm dreading. So I'm going to drop a save right here. No, Hephaestus. Hephaestus is a wild ride. This is probably the hardest part. Whoever designed this game is very talented. Very talented indeed. Okay, here's how it goes. Alright, we hit this switch, nothing will happen. Okay, it's protected by these electromagnetic locks. Whatever that means. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Actually, if you whack the door, you get a... A secret 
message that pretty much no one's ever gonna hear because no one's dumb enough to just whack the door. Or do I have to shoot the door? Do I actually have to shoot it or is whacking fine? I believe whacking should be fine. Okay, maybe we have to shoot it to get it. Oh well. Uh, it says investigate the area. Anya's highlighted in gold. And now... <sighs> okay. When this audio diary finishes, this door's gonna be welded open. Maybe I should get in here. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna hide here while they do this. Oh gosh, here it comes. Oh no, here it is. It's gonna be a lead head, a Houdini, some spider splicers. Oh gosh. Well, there's a Houdini, there's the lead head. Oh my gosh. And behind the door, there's gonna be more. Where'd you go? Okay, one down. What, only two right now? Okay, no. Past that door, there are more of them. No. Die, die, die. Okay, yes, that's why we hacked that health station. Okay. So, I'm just gonna hide back here. He's dead. Okay, good. I have to fight more. Man, that's the excellent writing. Plus Armin Sherman. Oh, it's amazing. Oof. Alright. Um, this here is actually Bill McDonough. The, yeah. This is his corpse hung up on the wall. Doing fine, we're doing fine. Okay, I did not expect it to be that easy. But again, I prepared mentally for the worst. So it wasn't that bad. <laughs> what is the difference between a man and a parasite? A man builds. Okay, let's try the rest of them. Where's my share? A man creates. A parasite says, What will the neighbor say? A man invents. A parasite says, watch out, or you might tread on the toes of God. Was there a gene bank that I passed? I don't think I've passed a gene bank yet. Unless I'm going crazy. I could just do this, see. No, I did. Okay, I did. Ah, would static discharge be useful? Nah, probably not my best option right now. I just have to go... Ooh. Okay, a lead head. That's a free R34 right there. Two of the four are free. I don't know what you are. Who are you? What are you? Okay, she's a spider. Oh, spiders put out a lot of damage. And they're fast. Okay. Lead head shouldn't be that bad. Oh my gosh. Two spiders. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So, you're free health. You're free health. Okay, okay. Good thing I didn't die there. Okay, whew. Sometimes you get to fight, like, both groups at once, and then it's, like, overwhelmingly impossible. 
Um, I'm pretty sure the R34 spawns in these no matter what, but just to be safe, I'm not gonna crack open that big daddy. Alright, okay, I'm just gonna save here because, whew, I don't want to do that again, and then maybe it gets worse. Moving on to the Hephaestus core. The tunnels are usually safe, you don't have to worry. Oof. Okay. Big oof. Free research here, though. Oh, okay, we get something with that one. What do we get? Increased damage, that'd be useful. Um, bouncer research is still super essential. Subject already photographed, what are you talking about? <laughs> Lies. Oh, there it is. Permanent 50% increase. I don't know if this is multiplied in first before the tonics or after the tonics, but either way, huge boost. I don't feel like doing the math right now. Oh, little sister. Where are we at right now? Oh, come on, come on. Just a little more. No, just a little more. Yes, there it is. There it is. More. Oh, look at that. Increased health and eve. It's like a free health and eve upgrade if you get all of your research. Alright, this, this can be hacked. Oh my god. I don't care. I have money to spare. <laughs> I just dumped money into that one. Um... Excuse me? Was that a spicer over there? I don't know. Whatever. I should be fine. McDonough's still blessing us with great audio diaries post-mortem. Splicer right there. The what kind of splicer are you? That's a Houdini splicer. Ye oh, oh, that is much stronger. Wow. Okay, there's a spider splicer. Oh yes. Yeah, so, okay, excuse me. I don't want. I don't have beef with you. I don't have beef with you. Oh yes. So what? I did give a thought in Fort Frolic. Like, I didn't get to finish because that's when I died. But um, Fort Frolic is the only level in Bioshock and. I guess you could count Bioshock 2 in that also, that truly utilizes the full potential of spider splicers. Like, in Hephaestus and Point Prometheus, they kind of just wander around, they walk around like basically glorified thuggish splicers. Okay, where is he? Um, in Neptune's Bounty, they're only in a few scripted moments. Okay, I think the spider splice is disproving me a little. But, uh, yeah. And then, uh, Proving Grounds, yeah, only a few scripted moments. Where is he? Haha, <laughs> wow. Where'd the corpse go? Is that his foot? Did he just fall into the rubble? Okay, there we go. Got some money. Uh, this Houdini Splicer. He despawns. You don't have to worry about him. Okay, well, that's fully done. Um, yeah, see, I can just... Whoa, did he appear somewhere? Because he doesn't do that. Anyways, yes. Um, yeah, for Frolic is when they really utilize the spider splicer. They spawn like all over, clinging on walls, you hear them constantly stalking you, above you. And it's really intense. But uh, in other levels, they don't really just use them the same way. Okay, thank you, it's bad for me. This this level's gonna get copyright shook and I already accepted that. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got no Eve, but, no, Adam, sorry. But, what we would get, 
if we were to get Adam at this point. Wrench Lurker 2 in vending machines now. So that's good. That's good. We need that. Hopefully we can get that. But let's just go to heat loss monitoring. Actually, can you skip this? Huh. I don't know. What if I just went to the workshops? Then what could I do? Let me try it. Let me see what happens. Okay. Because I know I have to go to the workshops, and that's that's the end goal, really. Heat loss monitoring is like just the first step. It tells you to go to the workshops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, this part's gonna be a little hectic. Maybe we could sneak past them. I know. Okay, I don't have to deal with that nonsense. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Right, there are gonna be two turrets here. I can run past them, though. You're gonna hear them click on? Yep. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're good. They will be useful assets. Does that update my goal? No, it doesn't. I still have to check heat loss monitoring. But, uh, alright, I'm gonna save here and try to get those turrets. Alright, approaching head-on is a dumb idea. You can approach from the side if you take this little shortcut here. Can you get out of my way? Okay. Alright, Frozen Field is not good with dealing with Splicers, because I don't have my wrench jockeys in. Oh my god. <sighs> he stuttered a little, but that's fine. Okay, that, for some reason that vent isn't budging, and now I'm stuck here. Can I explode these? No, okay. Can you, can you get me out of here? Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> well, I did not expect this to happen. Alright, desperate times. This is allowed for maneuvering. <laughs> That's legal, okay? I, I use plasmids for... Opening, uh, locked doors for melting ice, so I'm gonna accept that as legal. Just imagine that as a locked door. <laughs> Alright, do I have both, uh, I need both sport boosts in. Just try to do this as fast as I can. And let's go. Yes! One! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hack! Yes! That's both, that's both, that's both. Got him. Got him. Oh, excellent, excellent. Oh, wonderful. Great, now let's get, uh... Let's get Bloodlust in. So that worked. We can now officially hack turrets. But we just have to be prepared to do so. Got both bench jockeys in there. Alright. I'm not going to bother with the one upstairs for right now. Ugh. I think that's a splicer upstairs. Nope, that's not a splicer upstairs, that's a splicer right here. Excuse me. Uh... Excuse me? Sorry, half of this video is just me in natural camouflage hiding from my problems because, uh... That's, that's the smart way to do things. Excuse me, where did you... Why? Why was there a Houdini Splicer here? I don't know, but we can see if this works. Does this work? Basic casing is ready. I've got one 
Come on. Good tonic, but we don't really need it right now. Update my goal. No. Oh, yes. Oh, thank goodness. All right, good. We can <laughs> skip heat loss monitoring, and that is a huge help. Heat loss monitoring is not a kind place. Um, splicers will ambush you. That's where splicers start to play dead. Okay. I sense that someone is mad at me. Okay, oh yes, yeah, so Slicer does spawn out here once you do that, but shouldn't be a problem. Whoa, she she just knew where I was for no reason. Come on, I was sneaking, bro. Oh, there's another Splicer. Is that a Splicer from upstairs? Yes, that's still the Splicer upstairs. First, R34 wire cluster. Alright, let's see, we're... 27 minutes in. Okay, I think we can call it here. Remember, if you enjoyed this stressful video, to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.